So today we're going to be going over a uh, SI joint, sacroiliac joint injection. Um, so we have the patient sterilely prepped and uh, we're going to find our needle placement here. First we're going to use 5 cc's of one line of cane. And you can see we're aiming for the inferior aspect of the SI joint. So I'll move over uh, extra. That's the spot we want, that inferior aspect, so we'll poke on three, one, two, three, and pull. Sorry about that. And so a little, little lidocaine, a little burning going down, okay? And we'll take an x-ray to see where our direction is. So our direction is good. We're heading right down to the SI point. right there. So that's exactly where our needle wants to be. So we have our direction. So we're going to duplicate that direction with a spinal needle. Bevel's going to be up. And a little pinch. One, two, three, and pinch. And again, taking x-rays as we advance here. X-ray. Right there, so we want to feel ourselves pinch through the SI joint here, okay? So a little. So right there is bone, oh, and I can feel myself. X-ray there, and that looks pretty good. Again, just making sure you feel that pop through the SI joint. And X-ray there. All right, so we're going to use a little bit of dye. This is uh, contrast saline and ice of you, so. Sometimes we can get the first, uh, get the dye pattern the first time, but sometimes we have to readjust. So, and there's a little bit of resistance, and so you can see it pushed through a little bit there. X-ray there. Nice. So I can, you can see the uh, the contrast travel up the SI joint. So that's a good image there. So now we confirm we're uh, intra-articular inside the SI joint. We're going to inject uh, about one cc of one percent lidocaine and one cc of 80 milligrams depamedrol. And you can see me going slowly because the SI joint is tight and it does cause some pain as I uh, as I inject. But if I if I take an X-ray again. Um, you can see again the contrast of the SI joint, and just one more. Great. And we're all set.